I was a Splash Mountain opening crew cast member, and today I'm sharing eight little known facts about Splash Mountain. I'll talk about the voice actors and a designer of the characters, racial storyline changes, Easter eggs, changes to the logs, and even a bit of naughtiness. Everything you probably didn't know about Splash Mountain on the Zippity Doo Dah Day. Hang on to your hats and glasses because here's fact number eight. The role of Br'er Rabbit in Splash Mountain was voiced by Jess Arnell. Jess not only brought Wacko Warner to life in the animated series Animaniacs, but also voiced multiple Disney theme park characters, including Roger Rabbit in Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, Marlin in the Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage, Ida Gabriel in Epcot Center's Food Rocks, and the voice of the father in Carousel of Progress. Well, sort of. Here's the inside story. Walt Disney World's Carousel of Progress was updated in 1993. Gene Shepard, the narrator's voice, in the movie Christmas Story was chosen to provide the new voice of the dad. However, there was a problem. Gene Shepard could not sing. So Gene only provided the voice for the dialogue and Jess Harnell, the voice of Splash Mountain's Br'er Rabbit, provided the singing voice. Everybody's got a laugh in place, and that includes Br'er Bear. Fact number seven, Nick Stewart, the actor who voiced Br'er Bear in the original 1946 film, Song of the South, which inspired Splash Mountain, returned to the role over 40 years later for the Disneyland attraction. After a long acting career, ranging from vaudeville to movies to Splash Mountain, the voice for the audio animatronic Br'er Bear was Nick's final splash in acting. Voice actor Nick Stewart was not the only person whose talent talents were featured in both the 1946 film Song of the South and the 1989 attraction Splash Mountain. Fact number six, Mark Davis was an animator on Song of the South and he also designed audio animatronic animals featured in the attraction America Sings. America Sings may have closed down in 1988, but many of Mark Davis's animatronic figures were repurposed and moved to Splash Mountain. Virtually all of the figures in Splash Mountain, other than the leads, Br'er Bear, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Rabbit started their theme park careers in America Sings, thanks to Mark Davis. Time to be moving along to fact number five. Song of the South has been controversial ever since the NAACP picketed the film and released a statement in 1947 condemning the film. After the movie was re-released in 1986, Disney made the decision to never distribute Song of the South again in the United States, just around the same time that Splash Mountain was being designed. So Walt Disney Imagineering had to adapt the storyline in order for it to be appropriate for an American American theme park. In the original movie, Br'er Fox used a Tar Baby to trick Br'er Rabbit into getting stuck in the car. Tar Baby can be a derogatory term for African Americans. That was not the type of splash Disney wanted to make with their new flume ride. So instead of Br'er Rabbit getting stuck in the tar, in the log ride, Br'er Rabbit gets stuck in a honeycomb instead. This is one time when honey helped Disney to avoid a sticky situation. Not so sure that Br'er Rabbit is an Easter rabbit, but he did hide an Easter egg in the attraction with fact number four. The Disneyland area bear country was replaced with critter country to make way for Splash Mountain. But did you know that Splash Mountain pays homage to the entrance of the old bear country from 1972 to about 1988? Reading you at the entrance to bear country was a hill with a cave with a sign warning guests, sleeping bear, quiet. While the bear cave made way for Splash Mountain, the soundtrack to the snoring bear could still be heard on the attraction when guests passed by Rare Bear's house. The soundtrack to the snoring bear could still be heard on the attraction when guests passed by Rare Bear's house. However, guests were to believe that it was Br'er Bear snoring when longtime Disney fans recognized it as an Easter egg to Rufus the Snoring Bear. Please exit out to your left. Next group, step right in. Fact number three, log seating changes. The seating configuration in the logs has changed over the years. On opening day, the configuration was designed so that two people fit in the front row, three in the middle row, and two in the last row. As a Splash Mountain cast member, when grouping guests into logs, your two primary goals were to keep parties together and to try your best to fill every seat so that the line would move as quickly as possible. Groups of four are very common. Think mom, dad, 
dad and two kids, or two couples, or four friends. The opening day seating configuration did not lend itself well to seating groups of four. Wanting to keep groups together, a group of four would end up in either the first two rows or the last two rows. The problem was that either way, only two people would be sitting in the middle row, which was really meant for three people. Since this was not ideal, the configuration was changed to two people in the front row, two in the middle row, and three people in the back row. This made it much easier to fill every seat since parties of four could be seated in the first two rows and groups of three could sit in the back seat, maximizing the capacity. All guests sat straddling a middle bench, giving guests the feeling that they were sitting in each other's laps. In the 2000s, the seating configuration was updated, adding in more dividers, so that guests began to sit one person per seat, making lap sitting unnecessary. Since Splash Mountain and Walt Disney World and Tokyo Disneyland had the benefit of being built after the original Disneyland attraction, both newer versions of the ride used side-by-side -side seating with four rows. This way, nobody had to straddle the middle or feel like they were sitting in someone's lap. Take that frown and turn it upside down for fact number two. While Tiana's Bayou Adventure is taking the place of Splash Mountain in the American parks, Tokyo Disneyland is keeping Splash Mountain as is. The film Song of the South is readily available in Japan and Japanese people are less likely to be aware of the controversies surrounding the film Splash Mountain is based on. You can't run away from trouble. There ain't no place that far. And here is a bit of trouble with fact number one, Flash Mountain. In the 1990s, a camera was mounted in the attraction to take photographs of guests during the big drop that could be purchased after the ride. Her rabbit can be mischievous, and sometimes so can the guests. Every now and then, a woman would lift her top for the camera while going down the big drop. So the log ride was jokingly nicknamed Flash Mountain. But parents, nothing to worry about. To keep the photos kid friendly, a cast member was dedicated to reviewing each picture before guests could see them. Well, here they are, eight truths about Splash Mountain. They're factual. I hope you found this video satisfactual. Brer Rabbit used reverse psychology on Brer Fox. So let me try it out on you. Whatever you do, Please don't click the subscribe and bell notification. The fun doesn't end here. I made an even better video about the fascinating histories of Splash Mountain, Song of the South, and Critter Country. Click here for a lightning lane, straight to the video. I'll see you there.